There are 54 countries in Africa. Four of these countries, including Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, and Morocco, hold more than 50% of the continent's wealth. Moving to Asia with 50 countries, China and Japan hold 53% of the continent's wealth. Now, moving to the continent of South America with 12 countries, one country holds more than 50% of the total wealth of the entire continent. That country is Brazil. Brazil is one of the most powerful countries in the world and is currently the fifth largest country in the world in terms of land area. The country covers a land area of over 8 million kilometers square, and it occupies more than 50% of the entire continent of South America, spanning from north to south. Brazil is also the sixth most populous country in the world after China, India, the US, Indonesia, and Pakistan. The population of Brazil, which currently stands at 217 million people, is more than half the population of the entire continent of South America. As of 2023, Brazil has a nominal GDP of over $2 trillion. In comparison, Africa, with a population six times larger than that of Brazil, is just slightly richer than Brazil. Imagine a single country that is still developing being richer than an entire continent of over 1.4 billion people. We must acknowledge the fact that Brazil is doing well. In 2020, Brazil was ranked as the seventh country with the highest number of billionaires in the world by Forbes. Among the 100 billionaires found in Latin America and the Caribbean combined, 65 are from Brazil, followed by Mexico. The richest man in Brazil is George Paulo Lemon, and he is worth $16 billion. The country is a member of various economic organizations, such as Mercosur, Prozer, the G8 Plus 5, the G20, the WTO, the Paris Club, and the Cairns Group, and is considered a permanent member of the OECD. Over the 20th century, Brazil managed to diversify its industrial base from being mostly centered on primary sector items like sugar, gold, and cotton. In the steel sector, Brazil ranks ninth in terms of steel production and fifth in terms of net steel exports in 2018. Jurdal, which owns 337 industrial and commercial properties and employs more than 45,000 people in 14 nations, is the largest manufacturer of long steel in the Americas. The most valuable firm in Latin America is Petrobras, an oil and gas business based in Brazil. So how did a Brazilian amass so much wealth? Well, to answer this question, we shall look at multiple factors, such as a large population, political reforms, the economy, agriculture, manufacturing, tourism, and investability, and peaceful nature. Now let's begin with how Brazil's massive population has helped the nation amass so much wealth. But first, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Large population. Brazil has a population of over 217 million people, meaning it has a very larger force ready and willing to work. This is because it is the largest country in South America and has a huge land area of over 8.5 million square kilometers. This creates a large domestic market for goods and services, which is a key factor in the country's economic development. A large domestic market means that there is a large potential customer base for businesses and industries within the country. This can provide a steady demand for goods and services, which can help to sustain economic growth and job creation. Additionally, a large domestic market can also attract foreign investment as companies see the potential for large sales and profits within the country. A huge population interprets into a sizable workforce that may be used by enterprises. This contributes to greater output and productivity, as well as a reduction in labor costs. A large population also results in a diversified and vibrant society, which can encourage innovation and creativity. This indicates that Brazil's size and population which both provide a sizable domestic market and a sizable workforce that can support economic growth and job creation, as well as draw in international investment, are significant elements in the country's economic development. Agriculture The economy of Brazil is largely dependent on agriculture. The country is one of the world's leading producers of soybeans, corn, coffee, sugarcane, and meat. The climate and soil conditions in Brazil are favorable for farming which has contributed to the country's economic growth. Brazil used to be a food importer, but is now the third largest exporter of food, after only the European Union and the United States. The transition began in the 1970s, with the establishment of the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation, Embrapa. 
Embrapa has led to significant growth in the agricultural sector through extensive research and partnerships with other research institutions and companies around the world, beginning with the development of the Cerrado region, and more recently, the Matapiba region in the country's north has also become a major agricultural center. Brazil has had a substantial expansion in farm output over the past 40 years and a very high rate of agricultural productivity. Despite a 32% rise in land usage, the volume of agricultural produce in the nation has climbed by 385%. This is because several harvests of grains and oilseeds are possible each year thanks to the employment of cutting-edge technology. Brazil is a forerunner in creating crop types that can endure drought, climatic fluctuations, pests, and diseases, in addition to having a varied range of flora. The nation has some of the largest quantities of fertile land in the world, a suitable climate, and abundant water resources, all of which are beneficial to agriculture. In 2019, the agribusiness industry, which comprises inputs, agricultural and animal production, agro-industrial, and services, accounted for a sizable share of the Brazilian economy. It accounted for 21.4% of the country's GDP, 43% of exports, and 19% of employment creation, food, and agro-industrial exports, accounted for 51% of overall exports in the first half of 2020. Brazil is a major producer and exporter of a wide range of products, including soybeans, orange juice, coffee, meat, chicken, sugar, corn, pork, cotton, and cellulose, and it has a substantial market share in these categories. Natural Resources Brazil is home to a wide variety of natural resources that are among the most abundant in the whole globe, both renewable and non-renewable. The majority of the nation's mineral deposits, arable land, and other significant resources have historically been mined from the southeast and south regions, which operate as the country's economic engine. However, other locations are becoming more relevant. Transportation infrastructure advancements have made it simpler to obtain these resources and export or use them for Brazil's booming industry and population. This rich country is particularly notable in the mining industry for its extraction of various minerals and gemstones. The country is the second largest exporter of iron ore and also produces a significant amount of gold, copper, manganese, bauxite, tin, nickel, and niobium. Brazil is also the leading producer of amethyst, topaz, agate, and tourmaline, and is among the major producers of aquamarine, emerald, opal, and garnet. Also, Brazil is the principal producer of its petroleum and natural gas, mostly from maritime resources located near the continent's edge. From 1940 through the 1960s, drilling was limited to the northeastern area, notably the Bahia Basin. Following that, the exploration area was enlarged to encompass drilling on land and in the sea, from Fortaleza in the north to Santos in the south. Over two-thirds of Brazil's petroleum is derived from the Campos Basin, which is located in the ocean off the coast of Rio de Janeiro state. Some of the most advanced deep-water drilling techniques have been developed by a Brazilian company called Petrobras, including one that can drill more than 1.5 miles below the surface. When Petrobras revealed in the early 21st century that the Tupi offshore oil field, which is located about 4.3 miles beneath the surface of the ocean, held between 5 and 8 million barrels of oil and natural gas, Brazil's oil reserves were significantly increased. The states of Bahia and Sergipe produced the majority of Brazil's natural gas, while the Amazon basin is home to numerous oil and gas deposits. The capacity of the oil refineries close to Manaus is also constrained. Manufacturing Brazil has one of the greatest industries in the Americas, accounting for over one-third of its GDP. Automobiles, petrochemicals, steel, computers, consumer goods, and airplanes are among the items manufactured in this industry. Thanks to the economic stability brought by the Plano Real, both Brazilian and foreign companies have invested heavily in new technology and equipment, much of which has been sourced from American companies. Based on the overall output value, the World Bank annually prepares a list of the top producing nations. Brazil has the 13th most valuable industry in the world, valued at 173.6 billion US dollars. According to the 2019 ranking, only the United States and Mexico are ahead of it in the Americas. 12th place. Brazil ranks second globally in terms of processed food exports in the food sector in 2019. In 2016, Brazil was the second largest producer of pulp and paper in the world. Brazil is also a major footwear producer, 
ranking fourth globally in 2019. In 2019, Brazil was ranked eighth and ninth globally in the production of steel and cars, respectively. Brazil's chemical sector is extremely substantial, coming in at number eight globally in 2018. Brazil is not a major player in the textile trade despite being one of the top five producers in the world in 2013. Embraer, the third largest airplane manufacturer in the world after Boeing and Airbus, is also located in the nation. The Brazilian economy also has a sophisticated and diverse services sector. Early in the 1990s, up to 16% of the GDP was accounted for by just the banking sector. Despite significant changes, Brazil's financial services industry provides a wide range of products and is luring several new rivals, including American financial organizations. On May 8, 2008, the Brazilian Mercantile and Futures Exchange, BM and F, and the Sao Paulo Stock Exchange, Bovespa, merged to form one of the world's largest stock exchanges, BM and F Bovespa. The reinsurance industry, which was formerly monopolized, is now subject to competition from other businesses. Tourism Brazil has developed into a popular tourist destination throughout time. Welcoming over 3 million international tourists annually, it's crucial to remember, too, that when foreigners travel to Brazil, they often spend more money abroad than Brazilians do. Brazilians regularly like visiting countries like the US, Argentina, and Uruguay, Rio de Janeiro, and other tourist spots that are situated in or adjacent to significant cities with lots of hotels and other facilities are where the majority of visitors in Brazil go. Additionally, tourism is expanding in Salvador and other parts of Bahia, and more people are traveling to other northeastern coastal districts. The Amazon region is becoming more and more well-known for ecotourism, and Santa Catarina's beaches in the south are drawing many tourists from Argentina. With 6.6 .6 million visitors and $5.9 billion in sales in 2018, Brazil was the 48th most visited country in the world. Even though it is a rising sector, South American tourism is still undeveloped when compared to other continents like Europe, where nations like Spain and France get $73.7 .7 billion and $67.3 billion in tourists annually, respectively. However, when compared to other countries in South America, Brazil is doing well. When it comes to South American riches, Brazil literally echoes go hard or go home. It is hardly surprising that the nation holds more than 50% of South America's wealth, given its mixed economy, plenty of natural resources, and expanding middle class. Brazil is a country of contrast and opportunities, ranging from the vibrant metropolises of Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro to the verdant Amazon jungle. It is a nation that is making its mark on the world stage and is a brilliant example of what can be accomplished with perseverance and hard work. If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.